First, let's start off with some Stacks basics. You can convert existing containers to Stacks, like this. Or you can grab a Stack preset from the component picker. Once you have a stack, you can select a direction, either horizontal or vertical. You can control the alignment, the distribution, and the spacing between the components within your stack. On a component level, items in a stack expose different height and width controls than we're used to on a grid. Let's have a look at these. Auto width will use the component's built-in default width. This is a great starting point, and it's the stack default. However, if you want to set a specific width, you can select the fixed option. With the fixed width, you can drag the component to the exact dimensions that you want, or you can type in the size in pixels. The fill option will take up as much space in the parent stack as possible. If more than one component in a stack is set to fill, they will each take up equal amounts of space. This is how we can use stacks to emulate a responsive column-like layout. This behavior is very similar to Flexbox and CSS. So if you're familiar with Flexbox, stacks should feel very natural. If the components inside your stack are wider than the stack itself, the stack will scroll. However, there are cases when instead of scrolling, you want the components to be limited to the width of their parent stack and to flow onto the next line if they're too wide. We can do this with stacks by enabling wrap. Again, this is a similar concept to flex wrap in CSS. So let's have a look at how stacks are used across the app that McKenna shared. A common pattern in navigation bars is to have a profile photo and some option buttons beside it. The components are all very narrow and a traditional retool grid just wouldn't give us that close grouping that we want. So the first thing we're going to do is select both of our components. And then we can select group or hit command G to wrap these components into a group. This group, which is really an unstyled container gives us the option to select our stack layout. So we'll select that, and now we can start to configure the width of each of our elements. We can set both to auto, and then change our stack distribution to the right. And just like that, we have our profile photo and our settings button in our top nav.